Hey my friends, James Jordan, Best Networker Live, just coming to you today, and today uh, I just wanted to talk about one thing that's absolutely pivotal to your success, and it's personally pivotal uh, pivotal to my success, and what's allowing me to, to really free up more of my time in my business, focus on doing less of the work myself, and focusing on the things that I love to do in my business. You see, when I discovered after spending years online, learning everything, learning SEO, learning how to blog, learning how to put together a blog, how to manage a blog, uh, how to optimize my 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 YouTube videos, my websites, uh, make everything SEO friendly, uh, learn the paid advertising, learning how to do this, learning how to do Google AdWords, learning how to get an ad approved on, you know, other different ad networks, learning how to do banner advertising, all this other stuff, right? It can consume you. And I heard this a little while back last year, about a year ago, and it really changed the way that I thought in my mind and allowed me to really start to free up my my creativity uh, in my brain. And I believe that it will do the same for you if you simply go out and apply it. You see, I heard this saying last year, and it was that Figure out what you like to do in your business and figure out what you don't like to do in your business. Because what happens is when we do everything as entrepreneurs, we kind of hold ourselves back because we're not really focusing on the things that we're good at. And if you talk to, you know, any any ultra successful entrepreneur, they'll tell you that you can't do everything, right? So now what I do in my mind is I sit there and ask myself, you know, how does Donald Trump run his business, right? For example, how does Sean P. Diddy Combs run his business? How does Jay-Z run his business, a.k.a. Sean Carter, right? How does Warren Buffett run his business? Does he does he do everything? Does he do all the research by himself? Or does he hire people that can do the job and get the research that he needs so that he can look at specific pieces of information and then make decisions off of that, right? And when I sat there and understood that I could leverage other people's time with my money, that is when the game changed. You see, what I did a couple days ago is I put out, I put out a um, a ad, for example, on a uh, website called Odesk. So for those of you that are looking to, you know, get some outsourcers and find some reliable outsourcers out there that can do some work for you at a very low cost, I recommend odesk.com to you, right? So I went to odesk and I was looking for someone to optimize my YouTube videos because here's the thing I love to do. I love shooting videos. I love sharing value. I love giving out content and giving people calls to action about what to do next. But the one thing I really honestly don't like to do, I can do it. I'm capable of it. I know exactly how it how it works and how it fully functions is optimizing a YouTube video. While it's simple, it's also a pain in the ass process, especially if you're shooting one video a day or two videos a day or five videos a day or 10 videos a day and you're looking to get them out there in the marketplace as fast as possible. And I sat there and asked myself, well, how do I alleviate the pain of optimizing my videos? And I sat there and said to myself, James, go find somebody to do it for you. Right. So that's what I did. And right now, you know, um, I got to log back onto my computer after I, you know, finish this video. But basically, I'm interviewing different people, you know, from all over the world. You know, I'm having specific qualifications that they have to know exactly what they're doing. And they have to tell me exactly how they would optimize the YouTube video because I already know how to do it. So therefore, now what it is that I'm doing is I'm qualifying people to see whether or not they're worth my time and whether or not they're worth my money. Uh, I'm setting up uh, qualifications as as if, you know, you have to be able to speak English, right? And you have to have a microphone because I want the ability to be able to communicate with the person that I will be paying on a consistent basis because I'm not looking to hire someone for a week, right? I'm looking to hire someone for years to come. I'm looking to have a employee that can uh, do the things that I want them to do. You know, I'm thinking bigger in my business. I'm thinking about what is it that I want to do? What is it that I want to focus on? What is it that I am exceptionally skilled at? And what can I do to alleviate myself from doing the mundane, annoying, pain-in-the-ass task, at least in my head, so that I'm not feeling that way about my business, right? Because what will happen is if you feel that there's a place of of pain uh, in a certain area of your business, you will do whatever it takes to avoid that area, right? And I've kind of noticed it with myself that, you know, I I could easily shoot, you know, 10 videos in a single day at minimum, minimum, right? But I've been going with one, you know, getting back to the consistency. And now I'm looking to do, you know, two, five, 10 plus a day. But I'm like, wait a minute, 
in the back of my mind, I'm like, James, you're going to have to optimize all those videos so that they can get the most amount of views as possible. And then there's a part of me that says, eh, you know, I don't really want to do that. Even though I know it has to get done, right? There's a part of me that doesn't want to go through that painful process of optimizing every single video. So I sat there and thought about it. I was like, wait a minute. Hmm, why don't I just leverage my money? And that's what I'm doing right now. So I want to give you that advice. Now you may be saying to yourself, James, I don't have any money. Um, listen, my friend, if you have five to ten dollars a week, you can hire someone for a couple hours a week to do the things that you don't want to do in your business. So, you know, I just wanted to give you this message today because I want you to know and understand that. It's easier than you think to go out and build a business online. It's easier than you think to go out and be able to generate traffic and generate leads and get sales and get commissions. It is easy, okay? I want to get that mental thought and process in your head that it is easy. And when you understand how easy it is and when you understand how easy it is to implement, you will go out and you will produce. You will go out and you will crush it. And you will go out and you will teach, train, and inspire thousands of if not tens of thousands, if not millions of people on how to go out and create freedom in their life. So, you know, if you're serious, if you're hungry, if you're committed, if you're looking for some mentorship and some leadership about how to finally put all of this together, and I encourage you and I challenge you to go to the bottom of this video, click on the link, enter in your email and watch the video that I watched that changed my life, changed the way I viewed business and changed the way I viewed entrepreneurship that allowed me to create the freedom that we all deserve, my friends. So I will see you in the next video. God bless you. I love you. Watch me like you watch TV and watch your income grow. This is James Jordan. Click the link at the bottom of the video. I'll see you on the inside. Take care.